I mean, pouring water in a cup is not trivial. Because then if you don't know anything about the container, it could be all kinds of containers. Yeah, there's going to be an immense amount of engineering just going into the hand. Yeah, The hand might be, it might be close to half of all the engineering in the in, in Optimus. From an electromechanical standpoint, the hand is probably r roughly half of the engineering. But so much of the intelligence, so much of the intelligence of humans goes into what we do with our hands. Yeah. Which is the manipulation of the world, manipulation of objects in the world. Intelligence, safe manipulation of objects in the world, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you start really thinking about your hand and how it works, <laughs> you know. I do all the time. The sensory control homunculus is, we have like humongous hands. Yeah. So, I mean, like your hands, the actuators, the muscles of your hand are almost overwhelmingly in your forearm. Mm -hmm. So your forearm has the, has the muscles that, that actually control your hand. Um, this, there's, a, there's a few small muscles in the hand itself, but your hand is really um, like a skeleton meat puppet. <laughs> and, the, and and with cables that so the the muscles that control your fingers are in your forearm and they go through your, the carpal tunnel which is that you've got a little collection of bones and, and a tiny tunnel that the that these cables the tendons go through and those tendons are what um mostly what moves your hands and something like those tendons has to be re engineered into the Optimus in order yeah. to do all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so like the, the, the current Optimus, um, we, we tried putting the actuators in the hand itself, <laughs> but then you, you, you sort of end, end up having these like- Giant hands? Yeah, giant hands that look weird. Yeah. Um, and then they, they don't actually have enough degrees of freedom and, and or enough strength. Mm -hmm. So so then you realize, oh, okay, that's why you gotta put the actuators in the forearm. And, and just like a human, you gotta run cables uh, through a, a narrow tunnel to uh, operate the, the fingers. And then there's also a reason for not having all the fingers uh, the same length. So it wouldn't be expensive from an energy or evolutionary standpoint to have all your fingers be the same length. So why aren't they the same length? Yeah, why not? Because it's actually better to have different lengths. Your dexterity is better if you've got fingers of different length. You, you're, you have, there, there are more things you can do and your, your dexterity is actually better if your fingers are of different, different length. Like there's a reason we've got a little finger. Like why not have a little finger this bigger? Yeah. Because it allows you to do fine, it helps you with fine motor skills. That, this little finger helps? <laughs> it does. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but if you lost your little finger, it would, you, you'd have noticeably less dexterity. So as you're figuring out this problem, you have to also figure out a way to do it so you can mass manufacture it. So it's to be as simple as possible. It's actually gonna be quite complicated. I, the, 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 the as possible part is, it's quite a high bar. If you wanna have a humanoid robot that can, um, do things that a human can do, it's actually, it's a, it's a very high bar. So our, our new arm has 22 degrees of freedom instead of 11, and has the, like I so said, the actuators in the forearm. Um, and these all, all the actuators are designed from scratch, the from physics first principles, um, that the sensors are all designed from scratch. And, and we'll, we'll continue to put um, a tremendous amount of engineering effort into improving the hand, like the, the, the hand, by, by hand, I mean like the, the entire forearm from elbow forward. Mm -hmm. Uh, is is really the hand. Um, so that's um, incredibly difficult engineering, actually. <laughs> and um, and so and so the simplest possible version of a humanoid robot that can do even most, perhaps not all, of what a human can do is actually still still very complicated. It's not it's not simple. It's very difficult.